Hi everyone. So today we're going to look at a tutorial for what is known as buckle cards because they have this interesting link on the front that's exactly like a buckle and has a little um, flap here that will go underneath over the top and then thread oops, underneath the next bit. Okay, so there is your buckle and open to reveal the inside of the card. So we're going to put that one to one side because we'll come back to that in a minute when we talk about the buckles. Here's another one. Um, this one is out of white embossed card. And again, it just opens with the little buckle, which simply threads through. They're very easy to make. Here's one for the men. And this is a less fancy buckle. Um, just a plain one for a man's like wallet. So there we go. And this is slightly different, still using a buckle, but this one is a wrap that goes round. And instead of sliding it off, we can open it like that. And that's a separate piece altogether. So a gatefold card and it's made to fit. So slip it under, there we go. So they're very easy to do the buckles and you can do a box full of the buckles to just keep beside you for when you want to do it, um, your card. Okay, so let's have a look. Some of them have been made with a punch. Um, some of them have been cut by hand. Right. This one's been done with um, a punch and fancy scissors. And this one has been done with a punch and also with a die cut that I had that is quite often too small to use um, on a card, but it's perfect for this sort of thing. So we'll go through how we make the buckles. Now I'm going to go through, first of all, using the punches. Now I have here a square punch and it's got a fluted edge. I have a smaller punch. This is a squeeze punch that cuts a basic square. Okay, so it's slightly different in size to that one. Okay, and so let's have a look what we're going to do. Okay, so we can use any sort of card that we've got spare um, that will match our card. So we're going to take this and the important thing is the size. So if we're going to use punches, we have to make a, a slip that goes through to match the size of the punch. So let's take a punch and I'm going to pop out squares and we'll do two, three on that card. Okay. So there's our three. The next thing I want is to cut a piece that is going to thread through. So if I measure my punch, it is just over two and a half. So I'm going to mark slightly under two and a half on there. And this would actually do all three. Just slipped a little there. This one would do all three of my buckles. So I'll just put that to one side for the moment and we'll come back to this. A buckle has an outer piece and it has this inner bar. Okay, so we need to do the inner bar 
and there's no need to measure. All right, it's going to be covered by the strip that goes through. So I am just cutting through there and I need to fix this across the center. So I take some wet glue and we're going to put a little wet glue roughly on the halfway point. You can adjust this in a minute. Okay, I put my bar through and I'm going to take a small pair of scissors and just snip off So I'm just hanging over the edges. Next one. You can see how quickly you can start to assemble your buckles. So go along and just make sure that they're about halfway. And it helps to be straight. So that we need to just wait for that to dry a moment. Right, they're not completely dry at the moment, but they have gone off tacky. So I can now take my punch and I'm going from the back and I can see that if I just clip that on there, I've got the same border all the way round. So let's see. Thrown, thrown, there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're now going to place the next one. Seem to like jumping onto the floor. And there's my third one. Yeah, so I now have three buckles. So two of those could go into my box and let's just test this. So this comes underneath, over the top and out the other side. So that's a beautiful fit. So a couple of extra bits that you can do is to just shape the end of the belt and on the back I do a little line halfway nobody's going to see it and a tiny punch I can just punch some little holes along there just to make it look a bit more authentic before it goes through the buckle so there we have that in place. So you can see how easily you can make the buckles from using punches. So we'll put those to one side. Those would go in my box. And we're going to look at how to make one straight from scratch. OK, I've got myself another piece of card. and. This time I'm going to work from my strip that I want. So if I go to say two centimeters, this you can make to do whatever size buckle you want. So there's my two centimeter piece. So I want the inside of my buckle to be able to have that threaded through. So I'm going to take my ruler and on the back of my card, I'm going to draw a line. I want to give myself enough here to cut a border and I'm going to measure two centimetres 
up from there. All your measurements will be up on the top of the screen. Now that is going to make the inside of my buckle. So if it's two centimeters high, I'm going to mark it so it's two centimeters wide as well. Okay. Leaving myself a gap. And I'll do another one is two centimeters wide. And I'm just going to rule up through. So this is going to be one buckle. This will be another buckle. Now we want the bit that goes down through the middle. So as we're cutting this one by hand, we can put that in before we cut. So it's a bit off to one side. We can measure. So if that was two, my center point would be one. So I want to give myself a little bit that side and a little bit that side. This is going to be the holes that are either side of this bar. So I take this and I'm going to do four downward pieces. One cuts one, two, three, four. If we were to have cut out the whole lot, we'd have been trying to hold very small pieces and it would be easy to cut yourself. So Going now, I'm doing four bits across, but not touching this bar in the middle. Okay. Poke those out. And you can see that is forming the start of our buckle. So I can thread that through. I know it's the right size. Right, now we're going to take our ruler and I'm going to mark a small border all the way around my buckle. You can make it a thick buckle, a very thin buckle. So I've now got my two center pieces, center holes, and a border all the way around. So now I decide whether I'm going to do fancy scissors or a straight edge. So I think I will go for fancy scissors. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along that pencil mark that I've made. There we have a beautiful buckle. So take this one and we're going to just snip the end. And this one should then come up underneath, over the bar and out the other side. So you can carry on and put the little holes in it. And we'll see how to use this in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to clear my desk up and we're going to start on the actual card. Okay, I've had a clear up um, of my desk and I've assembled a few bits ready to make our card. So, let's put that aside. This is 29 um, and a little bit, it's an A4 sheet that I have cut to six inches or 15 centimeters wide. Okay, so it will basically make, if I folded it, a six by six card. Okay, we're going to make um, a different fold. Okay, I've got a piece to make my buckle. I've got a piece that already cut 
ready to thread through. And I've cut a piece to go on the inside of my card. And you'll see I've cut two panels on the outside. All right, so I'm going to take my scoreboard and take my score tool and I'm going to score down five centimeters or two inches and 20. Right. Don't just fold them as they are at the moment. This one is fine, it can go over. This one that needs a little bit of assistance to join onto there. So hold it in place and make the card fold where you want it in the middle of that score line. Otherwise it can go either side and you can be caught an inch out. Okay. So this will be the right hand side. This will be the left hand side. So this piece in the middle is 15 by 15 or six inches square. So you're going to fit a piece in the middle because if you're making your recipient open a buckle to get inside, there ought to be something nice inside. Take that and place that. Always make sure you're away from the creases so that it folds nicely. This is five centimeters, so I've cut my center piece here one centimeter smaller, so that is four centimeters, and I've put a little mat around it. So I'm going to prepare this piece with tape, but I, this is the last bit I want to put on. So to do that, put it to one side, prepare this side. And I'm going to give it a little bit down the middle as it's a wide piece. So we're going to take that and we're going to fit that on there. So I've got a little bit of yellow all the way around. Okay. Now let's look at this. This is the piece that I want to be my um, belt, if you like, that goes through the buckle. Okay. So I have cut that two centimeters. So this is just a scrap of card. So I need to take my ruler and I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to use white so it shows up a little bit better for you. There we go. Then I'm going to measure two centimeters up from the line. So it won't matter even if that wasn't horizontal. Right, so that is two centimetres. I'm now going to measure two centimetres up here and draw the lines up. If you've got a grid on your ruler, you can make sure that that is straight. So we now have a two centimetre square. I'm going to mark roughly the middle and I'm going to put a little bar in the middle either side of that centre. So take my craft knife and we're going to do four cuts coming down. One, two, three, Four. Now you want to make sure that we leave this piece here in place. So come down there 
I'm then going to cut that side down there, down there. And hopefully we can just remove these two bits. Got a tiny bit of feathering there at the corner. So we'll get rid of that. And we're going to take our piece of card and we're just going to make sure that it fits through really nicely. Okay. So now I've got a choice of how I go around the outside and how thick I make my buckle. So I'm going to go around. All I'm using is the little black marks on my ruler. Got little marks here. And I'm just using that as a guide to get a border all the way around the outside. There you go. So I've got my buckle here. I've got my outside edge. And this one I think I'm going to do straight. So I'm just going to snip up. all the way around and when we turn it over there is my lovely buckle it's not fancy but it's a nice buckle for a man so you could make it metallics or whatever you wanted so let's take this we're going to just snip those off on the back I'm going to put a rough line there and I'm going to put about three holes. One, two, three. Okay. And when I put that through, you'll just see the little holes there. Okay. So now we come to fix this. I'm going to put strong adhesive down through there. So I'm going to use my red liner tape. I'm going to go all the way down that center point. And I'm going to fix fix that just on the side of my card. It doesn't matter whereabouts it is. It doesn't have to be in the middle. And I'm going to take this now and I'm going to thread it underneath, over, underneath. So it just comes out this side. And then I can mark this on here cut it with my scissors so it is just shy of this edge. So I'm going to put double sided tape, you can use wet glue. So underneath, over, underneath, get it the right distance through there in the middle and then just press down. Okay. Then we bring in this panel which is going to cover it. So that's firmly holding that in place and it will just open your buckle on this. Oh, button that out. Now we're down to the decorating. So I've chosen some bits of decoupage that I had. I've got a nice gentleman's suit. Now if I put that there, I don't want to interfere with the buckle. So I can just get that 
onto that corner or I can tuck it underneath. So I think I'm going to just tuck it underneath. So wet glue, I've got a little bit of wiggle room. Always look at the back of your decoupage just to see that everything has been poked out. And we're going to just slide that underneath. Okay. I've also got this um, uh, pen and little notebook here. So I'm going to add that to there. So there's a card. You've got plenty of room for a message. And this one here, let's just pop that piece out. This one here is going inside. So I did say earlier that it's nice to have a little bit of interest inside so that when they do open the buckle, they've got something that they discover on the inside. So, stuck that underneath there, flatten the buckle. So this could have been a metallic bu buckle. There's a little buckle on a belt here, which is gold. So that could have easily been cut from gold. Um, this could be brown or cream or any color belt that you want. I've got an extra bit of de decoupage there that I shan't put on. But there's a lovely card and lots of different ways to make your buckles. So let's go back to this one. This one was in embossed card. So we want to go under, over and tuck under. So there's a nice one. This one bit like a gentleman's wallet. So yeah, that's a nice, nice one. And again, with added interest in the middle. Okay. They fit beautifully in a standard hard envelope. Now this one here, we'll come back to in a minute. But this one here, um, the only difference with this one is that I can lift this and show you that I've made the buckle underneath exactly the same as before. And this time I've added a little bit of um, die cut decoupage, uh, excuse me, a little die cut over the top to give me an extra little embellishment. So. If I'd have put the um, die cut on on its own, it would have been far too flimsy because of all these holes cut out. So do make yourself a base um, buckle to begin with and fix your die cut onto the top. OK, then it's got some strength because you're actually using the buckle underneath to hold it. Let's go back to this one then. And this one, I've made the buckle in exactly the same way. But instead of being just a small piece that goes through, I've made it the whole piece that will go round the card. I had to join it on the back, but that is a nice way of holding your card together. So I simply made the whole strip placed it on, bolted it round, and then I cut this to be big enough to just go through without too much um, being left over. So then I just shaped the end. Okay, so that one is just made using uh, background papers. I haven't even put the decoration on it yet. So you can see that you can make these with whatever you have 
around in your craft stash, but have fun and enjoy. God bless you all.